this place is the bomb. Finally to Paris. <laughs> it's already 5.30 p.m. Um, I did eat, we ate lunch, we had a great uh, little dessert afterwards. We got to our Airbnb. Um, it took a while with the transportation because it's different from Switzerland. We also had some issues with the SIM card not working from the one that we got at the salt store over in uh, Zurich. So we had to get a new one. Um, if you need one, go to Relay. It's the convenience store here, uh, and there's they're everywhere. That's where you want to go pick up a SIM card. 40 bucks, 20 gigabytes, last 10 days. Great deal, probably the easiest one to get. Once we got that on lockdown, we went and bought our subway tickets. We got the 10 passes. They look like this. Let me try to pull one out of my pocket. You can get the card. We just decided to go the, the old school route, and uh, yeah. It's still sunny out. We're going to go to the Eiffel Tower today. Unfortunately, there is a strike and protest going on, so it is closed. Doesn't mean we can't go see it. Uh, it just means we can't go to the top. So instead, we're going to Champ Elise, uh, the big neighborhood district with a lot of other uh, tourist attractions over there, uh, with like this one straight road where you just see everything. So that's where we're about to go next. Okie dokie, we are here at Champ. Champ Elise, and we are here. Oh my gosh, let's go over there. This place is the ball. This has Gangnam vibes. I feel like I booked a ticket to Korea and I'm walking down the streets of Gangnam because it's nothing but a shopping district. Tons and tons of stores lining the streets, both on both sides. Now we're over here in some indoor mall area with a Starbucks right in the middle. Check it out. Oh my gosh. And uh, guys, if you want to go shopping, this is the place to go. Champ Elise, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I took four years of French in high school, but I don't remember a lick of it. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> but uh, this place is so cool. I mean, all the action is going on and we're here on a Tuesday. I can only imagine a Friday or Saturday how busy this place would be. But you got every kind of shopping imaginable. Skincare, clothing, jewelry, perfume and cologne, um, home goods, all kinds of stuff. Even a Superman. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. There's some wild stuff right here. Although they're clothes, but look at those things. Amazing. Oh my gosh, what's that? Day five, Paris, France. We finally made it. This beautiful, romantic, posh, and dreamy-like city that I've always wanted to go to. I would say most people wanted to go to, but especially for me. And it's surprising to say that at 37 years old, finally, I had a chance to go. Many other cities and countries around the world I've been to, whether it's Canada or other places, especially in Asia that I've been to, East Asia, but not here in France. And so it is a dream come true to finally make it. And of course, observations that I have to mention. Well, when we first arrived, it was interesting to see that some subway trains must be opened manually with a handle to turn. So I used to live five years of my life as an English teacher in Seoul, South Korea, and I was always used to seeing the doors to the trains automatically open and close, but some of them were manual in France. So you have to be a little bit more alert because if you don't see where your stop is, you're on your phone not looking and paying attention. You can miss your stop to get off and on. Now, another thing that I noticed on the subway was that there wasn't much air conditioning. <laughs> and this was going hand in hand with my experiences in Korea where they didn't really have air conditioning either uh, until it was blazing hot. We were here in the month of June and believe it or not, there was no air conditioning. A lot of times the windows were open so that it would allow for basically a breeze to come through as the train was moving. 
and I guess that was a way to conserve their energy there, but man, it was hot. One of the things that I noticed is that every time we went to a hotel or Airbnb, they had a coffee maker. And it was always the Nespresso kind. So it was the very small kind, the espresso, very strong coffee. It was perfect for me and my wife because we were both coffee aficionados. But I just found it interesting that that was the main coffee maker in every hotel and Airbnb. Not only that, all the bathrooms have automatic motion sensor lights and two options for low flow and high flow flush. Of course, you see this in the States, but not as much not like it is ubiquitously in every single bathroom in Paris. The Airbnb that we got in Paris was quite awesome and it was on the end of one subway line so it was kind of far, maybe about 25 minutes from the, the center of Paris but it was great because it was a little bit cheaper and there was a nice bridge where we could walk, um, explore an area that wasn't too congested but still have that city feel. it's not that difficult once you get the hang of the map a little bit because after living in Korea the subway system is very similar so it's just about navigating knowing the map where the transfers at uh, which direction that you need to go Thing that I noticed is, and this is a good thing, the prices are a tad bit cheaper than in Switzerland. For example, just a point of reference, a Starbucks Grande Ice Americano, which was $6.70 if you did the uh, exchange rate to dollar uh, from Swiss franc, that was pretty pricey. But then if you look in Paris, it is 4.1 euros, which comes out to be you know a bit less than what you can find in Switzerland. And there's this place where we would walk in the middle, there's a center where all the different uh, commercial buildings and as well as residential buildings that were surrounding us where you could just take a walk and then there are places that you can eat. Again, a lot of places where there's terraces, you know, gardens, parks, all kinds of things that were nearby. So we ended up eating at a restaurant there and the guy, <laughs> he's like, here, let me take your phone and take a picture of you. And so he set the phone right next to a candle, we got the candle lit, and it was on the right of the picture, and he gave this romantic vibe to the picture. I kind of laughed because I didn't expect that. And the guy said that he, though he is French, has family over in, I think it was Colorado, and uh, he's gone to visit there a few times, and he says, oh, I'd love to be in America. And um, I said, well, why? He said, because there's so much opportunity there. So I found that interesting, you know, as that guy, put it to us that he admired America for the opportunity and I would say the same 
working as a real estate agent, there's so much opportunity. And with anything in terms of starting a business, you just got to take the leap of faith. But French and the culture, something that is unforgettable. And you can't forget the pastries and the breads. I would say the best in the entire world.